I was going, I brought a personal intimate poem because I thought this was going to be an intimate event, but since it's being a podcast or telepath, <laughs> I'm reading more public works rather than the intimate special things I wanted to read. You can read them both. So I'll read this. Uh, um, the Secret for Sparkle and Jade. The heroin mixed with the free days, and apparently I am having blackouts. I say apparently since I have no memory of sacking my already who did it and ran apartment. The neighbors complaining about the loud fights in my place. I was alone. I'd surely like to remember if someone were there with me, even a fight to quench this Sahara of loneliness I've plunged myself within. Do I have a secret life where I am even engaging in domestic quarrels? Wouldn't that be civilized? <laughs> From the trajectory of my life as I see it, however, this latest anomaly is probably the enactment of an onslaught of multiple personality disorder having it out over my newly laundered clothes ending up match on floor. Well, if I could come up with a lovable personality that, that the others could enjoy, well, <laughs> barmaid, oh, barmaid, see over there, that boy? No, he's not underage. Please, send him a round of whatever he's drinking. And, oh, in the glass, please, place my heart. This is it, here, on this platter. I know it's not very pretty, leaking blood and slowly pumping, 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 but it is my heart. If he doesn't want it, leaves it in the bottom of the glass like the cherry in a Manhattan. Give it to someone else. Ooh, down the bar, see that boy. <laughs> Okay, thanks. But these are you. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen you.